Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How's it going, it's Tommy? It's going great, Chris. I got to go to a school called Farrar here in Iowa. It's about two hours away. That's what we'll be doing this weekend. That's good. And what I'll be doing this weekend is enjoying the weather flying somewhere new because, you know, of all the drone videos that we're, I'm making, well, we still have more to do, right, Tommy? Yep. But on the other, on the other hand, there's new places always to fly. So anyways, until then, we have some media news, and uh, so let's get to it, and here we go. Welcome back everyone. Tommy, gotta ask, what do you got for this week? Okay, there's this British YouTuber, Nicole Theo, that recently passed away at age 24 on Sunday. Her mother posted this on Facebook. Um, she already had a video scheduled to go up then, so that video is up. Her and her partner, um, Bogan, who also are in the same uh, dance group, over there in England. So they were dancing and stuff. Um, and she also was just about a couple of way, uh, according to the articles, was almost ready to give birth. She was just a couple of weeks away. So she was very, very close. And she had been posting on her channel updates to her pregnancy. Um, she's also a lifestyle YouTuber. Uh, she has tutorials about makeup. And she also has her own uh, company um, called Theo's uh, eyelashes and collection where she uh, owns that and as of right now there is no known cause of why she passed away at such a young age right so they are doing a uh an autopsy to find out what happens that's sad news tommy and that's upsetting that this wonderful filmmaker um passed away and she was almost due for a baby her and her partner bogan had already named the baby boy uh soon to be born as rayan and okay um her mother and the, uh, has announced that they want the, uh, fans to just you know let the family uh grieve and take their time and um also uh bogan also decided uh, she had some other videos that were pre-scheduled he decided to go ahead and let those videos be released as when they were to be released well, we'll put a link down on the description down below so you guys could see the story. You guys could uh, uh, see who this famous, awesome, great woman is, is a, a, a YouTuber. And um, not only that, um, we will um, let you know what happens on the autopsy. I think it is really sad, um, especially with everything that's going on. So I'm not going to say anything because, like I said, they don't know what is the cause yet. So I'm not going to jump to conclusions. And I ask all you out there not to do that either. But, you know, she's about to be a mother for the first time. Um, I could only imagine what her, her, the person that was soon to be the father, what he's going through right now, her mother and other people, other family members. Uh, it's just tragic. It's tragically used to lose a kid, but then lose a kid and a grandkid at the same time, that's even more tragic. Right, it is more tragic and it's sad. So my condolences, our condolences to the family and um, the friends and family that knew her. So moving on, Tommy, we have John Tavolta's wife, uh, Kelly Preston. She has passed away at the age of 57 due to her battle loss with cancer um she was a good actress she did she was married to john Tavolta for many 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 years and she did a lot of great things off the screen as well on the screen that is uh also a great loss because 
I do know who you talk about. I've seen uh, not all of her stuff she's in, but I've seen a lot of it. Uh, I've also seen his stuff too. And they also did some movies and stuff together. Right, right, exactly. So um, it's quite sad. So we'll put a link down to the stories down on the section down below. And one more story Tommy I have is Mythbusters Grant. He was the host of the show. Grant has passed away um, and due to a brain injury, and so over the weekend, that's when he passed away. Um, I remember meeting him from Mythbusters when we were at VidCon for quite a while. So I think we've met him like twice, and I remember him being such a wonderful guy and a funny down to earth he was really awesome it is sad because yeah he was a really good guy he was an amazing um what amazing one of the amazing co-hosts on mythbusters uh went from being just a you know builder to actually you know doing sub uh, myths on the show for its 13 year run um and and then also he did a lot of his own little things after the show ended like you know what's really in uh what's inside uh like things that what's up with mcdonald and their mcnuggets he did stuff like that uh so he was really funny he really uh, embraced his ancestry which is uh japanese uh with it showed up in um in mythbusters and other stuff he had done and he also did also uh, occasionally uh help out on uh tested which is ab savages uh, channel one of the main hosts on Mythbusters. He helped him out with his bills and stuff occasionally. Right, so we will put a link down to the story down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. It will let us know that you like this video and it will get us out to the algorithm so people can see us. Uh, ring that bell. It will let people let you know when we if you're subscribed. Um, it will let you know when the next video comes out. And more. So. We will see you next time, and bye for now. See you later.